Senators, how is court packing any different than what the Republicans did in 2016 and 20 in 2020? We filled vacancies. That's what? Not, we filled vacancies. I know, but that's what are they doing? The they're, they're doing they're, something that's that's allowed under the Constitution. They're packing the court. Yeah, allowed under the Constitution. Lots of bad things so, are allowed. I know, but it's not a destruction to the rule of law if it is in the law. Sure it is. It's politicizing the court. I mean, you politicized the court in 2016. No, we yeah. filled vacancies. And and they're they're just adding seats. And the Republicans didn't in 2016 and 2020 with nominations. We didn't pack the court. We didn't add a single justice. We could have done the same garbage, but we didn't because it would I have mean, been wrong. In 2016, you guys... Look, you, if, if there's a judicial vacancy, Joe Biden and the Democrats in the Senate are entitled to act to try to fill it. And if they nominate someone bad, we'll oppose that justice. I mean, that's the political process. I mean, that's, that's how it operates. And, and them packing the court is also part of the political process defined in, in, in the Constitution. They're allowed to add seats. We've added seats before. Why is adding seats now any different? We've had nine justices for 150 years. That Ruth is true. Bader Ginsburg said it'd be a mistake to change from nine. Stephen Breyer said it'd be a mistake to change from nine. This isn't a piece of power. I, and by the way, I doubt that they would be approving of what you guys did in 2016 and 2020. It is simply a fact that Republican presidential candidates have lost the popular vote in seven of the last eight presidential elections. Yet only four of the last 19 Supreme Court justices have been appointed by Democratic presidents. So let's be clear. The far right did whatever it could to capture the court. They invented a non-existent rule to hold open Merrick Garland's seat for 14 months before confirming Neil Gorsuch. And they violated their own rule just four years later to confirm Amy Coney Barrett. While an election was already underway, votes were already being tabulated. We undo the damage that the Republicans have done by restoring balance. And we do it by adding four seats to the court to create a 13-member Supreme Court. If the Democrats add four new justices, it also starts a ridiculous escalation. What does that mean? It means the next time Republicans take over, we add four new justices. That is a terrible in, thing. In we don't need a, a Supreme Court with 35 ju judges on it. Mm -hmm.